So, hello everyone. I am I'm furious and angry about these thoughts that's running through my head and I just couldn't hold it enough anymore. I just want to share with the world what I personally think, okay? I think that what's happening around the world was created was created by politics, media, and it's all about financial gain. And let me run this scenario now. I'm going to be little quick. I'm going to talk fast, but because I, there's so much just going through my head right now. So we go back to January. Okay, January, the U.S. and China signed the trade agreement, and now things are going to work out. The whole idea, the fight between the U.S. and China was simply because the Chinese government used to devaluate their currency to make their currency cheap so they can sell more to the wallet, which was unfair to the U.S. and the rest of the wallet. And also China had what we call a handout technology. If you are a foreign country and you're going to invest in a China or a foreign company, you have to hand out your technology. Now, Trump have been pushing and arguing and fighting with the Chinese to get them to sign this trade agreement where it will open the Chinese market to more U.S. goods that they will work with the currency, they will stop manipulating the currency. And we had the agreement last week in January. At that time, the market was all time high. Not even two weeks later, the virus, the news about the corona started breaking out, the breakdown out of Wuhan in China. Now, let me get that straight, okay? A virus is a virus. I'm not gonna talk about the virus. I'm not a doctor, I'm not a medical expert. I'm not gonna talk about it. I'm going to talk about numbers because this is what I do for a living. In the last two weeks, more than 8,500 people died in the USA out of the flu. Over the past seven weeks, there have been 4,000 total deaths worldwide. The Chinese president, two days ago, was in Wuhan, and he announced that they had contained the coronavirus. No death, no cases were reported out of China today. China population is 1.4 billion people. 1.4 billion people who are not known to be the best hygienists in the world. They don't have the high standards when it comes to food. Okay, they are just normal people. So can someone explain to me how the virus is slowing down, almost stopping in China while it is spreading in the US and in England and France and Italy. Can someone explain to me how come Russia, a country that have borderlines with China for thousands of miles, only have one case? One case, their population is 150 million. Can someone explain to me how come India, a country with 1.4 billion people who is only literally 100 miles away from China, that only have 60 cases, 60 cases. And then we go to a country like Italy, whose population of 65 million, have 10,000 cases, 12,000 cases, and almost 1,000 human beings lost. Here's what I think. I don't believe in conspiracy, conspiracy theories, but here's what I really think. The Chinese didn't like the agreement with the US. Trump pushed hard, he got the agreement signed. They didn't like it. So what do we do? Let's do the virus. Let's get the wallet to freak out. All the stock markets around the wallet tumble. They go down. The Chinese market went down anywhere from 30 to 50%, depending on which sector you're looking at. Stocks went down. Guess who's buying these stocks right now? China nationalized the companies, but by buying them, not by bullets, not by fighting, not by arguing, not by nationalizing or political decision. They went and bought the stocks. They are buying the stocks worldwide. Today, the US market is down 10%. England is down 8%. Japan is down 6%. You know what's the Chinese market in Shanghai is down today? The Chinese market is down 1.4%. Does this make sense? Gold is down today 5%. Well, let's say, who's the top holders of the gold? The US, England, Japan, France, China, and India. Today the gold go down, guess who's buying the gold? You figured it right. Right now, yesterday the CEO of Adidas was on TV and what did he say? All his factories in China is back online and producing 100% capacity. The supermarkets in the US and in Europe are running out of supplies. 
no one have been buying anything from China for the past month. But now China have contained the virus. And we're running out of supplies. Guess what's going to happen? We're going to go buy billions and billions of dollars from supply from China. What's going to happen to the Chinese economy? Bam. Up. This is what I think what happened. It just doesn't make sense that you have only 3,000 deaths in China, a country of 1.6 billion and 80,000 cases, and they were able to control it. Why they are not sharing with the world? How did they control the virus? Why they are not sharing with the world? What did they do in the last 48 hours to stop the virus? What did they do? What did they use? Why we're not getting? Why is it spreading? The whole West world is being paralyzed. The West world, no traveling, no flying, no walking. Everyone is going to be home. Schools are shut down. All the sports tournaments are shut down. We are being paralyzed. Our lifestyle are being taken away from us. Even after terrorist attacks, even after September 11, we didn't have that. They are being done to this to us on purpose. Just as I'm talking to you, Disneyland in California just announced that they are shutting down. The population of the U.S. is only 330 million. But the cases is going as a really rapid case. Why? What did you do, China? Now, here's another part to it. Behind me, you see behind me, the CNN, the media. Let me tell you something very quick. Yesterday, when Trump, President Trump, came on TV at 9 o'clock to address the nation, and President Trump asked for uh, airtime on TVs a lot, unless it is a big emergency. He did, for 10 minutes. Five minutes through the life, I was driving between meetings. So I'm watching on TV, I'm watching on my phone. Guess what did the CNN do? They cut off him. And they asked me to do a subscription. At the time when the United States president is talking to his own people on a matter of life or death, and a matter that will affect us economically, will affect our lifestyle, will get us to be stay home for God knows how long, they cut off the air just to make me go subscribe to their services. Guess what? Same networks, same networks have been trying to take him down by talking about impeachment. Have been, impeachment didn't work, well, let's talk about the trade war was in China. Oh, it didn't work because they sent the deal. Well, let's talk about immigration coming from Mexico. Oh, that didn't work. Let's talk about this. And finally, they're like, oh, economy. This is his biggest advantage. People are talking about unemployment, how, how the economy is great, construction is everywhere, traveling is everywhere. People have jobs. African-Americans at all time low in employment. Latinos are working. Everyone is having a good time. Everyone is investing. Everyone is making money. Uh-oh, let's take the economy down. So they double down on the virus, and they are making money. These guys behind me, they are destroying our economy by selling us fear. They are destroying us and our lifestyle and our kids' lifestyle by pushing us just for political gains because elections is right around the corner. I'm a Democrat. I'm not Republican. I didn't vote for Trump. But I know, I know damn well, when my country and my people and the whole world is under that threat, we all need to unite and be around that president. We need to support him, not attack him, not try to bring him down, because when you bring down the United States president, you're going to bring down the whole country and the whole world. Why are you doing this, media? China, they know, we know. They want to be the largest economy in the world, and they, don't want, they didn't like what Trump did to them, twisting their arms. They didn't like it. They didn't agree to it. And it was okay for 3,000 people to die. They know it's not okay for 3,000 people to die in the U.S. It's not okay for 3,000 people to die in Italy. And so sure well, they, do, they know that it's not okay to lose any soul in the Western world where one life means a lot. I'm disappointed in our intelligence. I'm disappointed. And people didn't see this coming that people were talking first that the U.S. did this to China. <laughs> to destroy Chinese economy. And guess what is the Chinese economy today? Stop spreading the fear. Buy cut the media. 
support the president, support our institutions. This is a country of an institution. This is a country that have been through September 11. This is a country that have been through the financial crisis in 2008. This is a country that have been through uh, the debt calm in 99. This is a country have been through the saving and loans. 1,200 banks shut down in 1992. This is a country had Black Monday 1987. This is a country that went through hyperinflation where mortgages were 18% in the 80s. This is a country that had wars in Vietnam that have war worldwide. They have, they, it just went through much. I work in the stock market. I'm not worried about the stock market because for 187 years, no matter how bad it went down, it came back up. It just, this is what it is. This is the nature of the beast. It is stressful, it is painful, okay? And, and it never feels good when, 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 when you're losing money. But as long as my life and my kids' life and their health are okay, I know that this will be made back and money will be made back. And there's no point to panic. I'm not panicking. I'm angry at what happened from China, from the CNN, from the media, from everyone who's trying to be like the hyenas. Everyone is just attacking the U.S. or the economy or the whole Western atmosphere just for political and financial gains. I'm just angry.